One of the issues I see when working in the spiritual realm and coming to whole perfect consciousness of who we are as God beings, the insight that I'm finding is that avoidance is the deepest danger. Now, of course, you're not going to get involved with everything that you don't want to be involved with. But let's just do a little zoom in here. We have an insight around the quality of the eternal spirit that lives within man, the name of God, I am. And this living spirit of God is the dynamic quality of your countenance. Before you even mention your name, you don't pronounce the name of God, I am. And thereby, we understand the quality of scripture. When we look at the text, we know who's speaking from the understanding of knowing where God is. There you have Yeshua, Jesus, the Christ. Now, when we start investigating this quality of insight and we look at these insights here, people then arrange their minds to things that they've seen on the outside. So if you hear the name Jesus Christ and you think about some picture you saw in the church that you were raised in some years ago, however, then you have the wrong Christ. If you think about a person that lived some other type of 2000 years ago, then you have the wrong Christ. Why? Because the living dynamic of the eternal nature of God is not one that can die. The eternal living spirit of God is your I am. You are the Lord Jesus Christ. Your I am is Lord Jesus. And as you work with the Lord, that means as I hear, I do because I'm working with God. I am hearing from God. I'm doing as God because I am one with God doing. God is absolute doing. God is absolute being. God is absolute knowing. And you know from the source of your being, the source of your being is I am. So my issue is this. We lurk to do this avoidance because it's like, oh, no, nah, that's brainwashed uh, spirituality meant to colonize the mind of Africans. You're damn sure right it is. I'm not sure coding that shit, but I'm damn sure not, not throwing away the baby, the bath water, because those are my motherfucking elements. That's my water. That's my baby. Because I am the Lord and I don't create nothing from waste. I create everything for myself. So everything I see, I have to see from the source and self that I am or else I'm not looking good. Or else I'm not looking good. This is source knowledge I'm talking to y'all on right now. This is source consciousness I'm speaking on right now. Because everyone comes from what? A womb. The womb is dynamically opposed to who? The mother. The mother is the dynamic form of the material. The ma. And this is organized by the word, the father. So you tune into the father and you control the material. You allow for yourself to join and welcome yourself into the kingdom of heaven within. And all other things shall be added unto who? You. Why? Because you're living and walking in the presence of God. Your I am self. So if we avoid Jesus, we've missed it. Because now we're mad because they done colored our colors and bleached our things and did some things and this and this and this. And now people just are just focused on the wrong details. Keeps us in 3D, keeps us in victimized mindset, victim consciousness, keeps us in missing the mark, like in a dogmatic way. But it's like dogmatically missing the mark because of how it looks. Well, if you only work with the how it looks, then you haven't understood your faith because your faith is your unseen sought sight. Your unseen sight is your faith. You see it all the time. If you're not seeing nothing different, then your faith is off. You need to activate it so that you see different things, different from what you see. You see based on what you desire, not what's in front of you. You What's in front of you is opposed to what you see because what you see is a greater sight, a greater vision, a vision of God. You have to tune in and recognize that God is not a stagnant, stable idea. God is a movement of a conscious quality. It is absolute knowing, absolute being, absolute. What is the other one? Doing. I don't be knowing what I'm doing sometimes. So focused on being. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just allowing. What do you want to say next, Lord? <laughs> Boom. There it goes. Holy, Holy Spirit, you got something to say? What's up, Father? However, I'm just speaking to the different qualities of perception of my own one being. I am the Lord because I am the son. The son of who? Of the Father. As you see me, you see my Father. The Father is the root in which I'm focusing consciousness. That's what I am. That's the living spirit of God. Then you have the Holy Spirit, which is my feeling tone vicariously birth from the thought of God reminding me my own thoughts Holy Spirit comes to the sun remind me what my thought my father said to my own self person it's nothing outside of you when it comes to the scripture it's nothing outside like from the sense that there should be a victimizing feeling or a colonializing agenda happening no once you become awakened you should recognize that you're governing your own meanings so nothing that nobody is doing anywhere should have no reason to have nothing to do with you unless you consciously allow it to. So I'm not saying that people are supposed to follow religion because I'm not following religion. And I'm not going to tell you all to do something I'm damn sure not doing. But I am going to say, hey, take a good look at this because you need to recognize that. Or else you're going to be walking with one leg, basically.
So make sure that you recognize that the aspect of God is an inclusive quality of, of, of collective consciousness. And there's nothing wasted. Zero. When I say there's nothing wasted, I'm saying that from the center of my soul. Like, there's no trash. The reason why we have trash in the society as such is because the society does not l work with God first in the form of nature first. Or else we could produce a zero waste society. But we have to recognize that idea of trash comes from the root of not knowing what things are for. And so there's nothing trash in the spirituality or say you're embracing spirituality. You have to recognize that from the, from the jump. Because we don't pick some game from our Christian brothers and sisters. We don't see some good things from our, our meditating Buddhist brothers and sisters. We don't cop some good insights over here from our Islam brothers and sisters. And, and we already know that I am the way. So we already tuned in with Christ. And now it's just whole, all of our jewels in a whole bunch of different places. Well, I'm going to have all the jewels at one place, says the Lord. Because I'm going to make sure that nobody's going to make one practice greater than another practice you know what i'm saying because they're all practices to be practiced it's not like a hierarchy of practice oh well if you meditate um you know you don't have to pray well not not really because if you don't say nothing to your spirit then you're not gonna have nothing to be listening for so you definitely sure want to open your mouth and recognize that these vibrations are not just things that reach somebody else's ear but the ear of god is the inside heart that hears everything that you say before you actually open your mouth to say it because you have a thought and then you speak a thought. And so you're being spoken to by speaking to yourself within yourself. And then you're speaking to other people's ears. So that's a different level of governance when you recognize what spirituality means. It's all inclusive. And so I'm all inclusive with what people believe. I don't choose them to believe what I believe. And I'm damn sure not believing what they believe. But I'm choosing the highest beliefs consciously day by day as I evolve as a spiritual being. I wanted to make sure I made this video because somebody needs it. I'm just saying, yes, Lord. So whatever else the time is, Father, you can call me. My phone's on and I'm not asleep. I'm a walking, living Lord. And I'm going to talk to you about what you tell me. I'm going to qualify with the living spirit of God. And then I'm going to come back and tell y'all. That's how I'm going to do it. And so that's the video. I appreciate y'all for tapping into this. And I just wanted to say we all inclusive here on this Light Power page because I am the son of God. And so all the rays are mine. How you recognize them is on your time. Because somebody, but this is a beautiful insight to see. It's like somebody could be sitting in a car, right? And the car has regular windows. I am the son of God. I'm going to shine right into your windows. You're going to get all the light that I have, right? But then another person has tinted windows. They're going to get this light because you cannot avoid the fact that I'm the sun shining in front of you, but you're going to get just a little bit less of what I just showed you because you have a tint on your window and, and so forth and so on. People have different levels of allowance when it comes to their consciousness and their openness of, of realizing what oneness really means. They hear oneness and they want to have oneness, but they don't know what it really means because it's not about what you want to have. It's about knowing that all that is had is God and all that is God is one. And so recognizing the one in all things means that you're humble enough to see beyond your personality, ego, sight of what something is to recognize the spirit of God. I am that created me that you're observing. And that's the time. And this means you are truly seeing spiritually because you're not going to be recognizing things based on how they show up in form that's like not acceptable like of course you're going to see that but then the spirit in inward spirit man is going to grade what is being observed grade what is being seen this is the word discern and so discernment is something that everybody should foster and build and develop because everybody has discernment to a capacity but it only works for you based on your ability to increase the capacity. It's like discerning one plus one, one plus four. Yeah, you can discern that, basically answer that or recognize the solution of that. But then, you know, start throwing some different symbols in there. Now you're doing different calculation. You're doing a little multiplication now. Oh, and then I have to divide this. Mm. And that's what the spiritual walk with God is going to be like for people. That's what your divine spirit, God within you is going to be showing you things that you're supposed to grade with your consciousness to recognize the frequency of it and know what you've seen when you've seen it and stop letting your eyes tell you what you saw in your spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I'm going to just say Ashe on that one too, because we need everybody here today. And, um, that's the time. So with that being said, I hope y'all appreciate this. If y'all captured any value out of this, drop what you captured in the comments and I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all willing in peace.